Hey, what is going on guys? So you have a iPhone XR here and you want to know how to add multiple languages onto your keyboard as well as how to use it. Now the thing is once you add multiple languages to your keyboard, it's going to work for every app. Your regular te text messaging app, your WhatsApp, your Line, your Facebook Messenger, okay? So first thing you need to do is this, okay? Now you can see here I have English emojis and I have Chinese in here as well. Why don't we go ahead and add another language here, okay? So what I want you to do is go into your settings. So go into your settings, then you wanna to go to general, and then you wanna to go to keyboard. Tap on keyboard, and then up here it says keyboards. Tap on keyboards, and from here you can see my language keyboards I have installed. I have English, emoji, and Chinese simplified pinyin. Now if I wanted to add another language, let's go ahead and add Korean, so add new keyboard, tap on that and then I'll go ahead and scroll down. You have tons of other languages here as well. I'll just go ahead and add Korean, which is right here. So there's Korean. Tap on that and then I can then I can go ahead and set my layout. I'll keep it on standard here and I'll click on done. Now you can see Korean here on the bottom. So so now I basically have three language keyboards, English, Chinese, and Korean. So if I go back to my text messaging app, and you see the globe down here? If I press and hold this, now I can choose the language keyboard that I want. If you want to go to emojis, right there. If I go ahead and press and hold the globe again, I can go to Korean right here. And if I want to go into Chinese right here. And Chinese, like let's say if I wanted to type in like hi, which is ni hao, so in a, so I will go ni hao, just like that. And you can see that it is in Chinese. Another thing that we can do too is rather than pressing and holding, you can just keep tapping it. Okay, so right here is emojis. I'll tap the globe again. Here's English. Tap, tap it again. Here's Korean. So pretty easy to do. Now if you wanted to go ahead and delete a language, simply go back into your settings here. And let's say for example I wanted to delete Korean. Just tap on edit. And then you can go ahead and delete whatever language you want from here. I'll delete Korean. Delete. Click on done and now Korean is gone from the keyboard. So pretty simple to do. Thanks for watching, I hope this helped you guys out. I'll see you in the next one.